What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jeff here. Today, we are talking about the all-new 2019 Shelby GT350. Well, it's not quite all-new, but it is new nonetheless, and Ford absolutely nailed this one. I can already tell you that much. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is that appearance-wise, this car is going to look very, very similar to its 2016, 2017, 2018 predecessor, and for good reason. They absolutely nailed the appearance on this car, in my opinion, and I do not think you should mess with something that looks as good as this and performs as good as this car already does. So with that said, you're not going to notice too much uh, on first glance, but taking a look at the wheels, they did change them up a little bit from the 10-spoke setup that was included previously to a double five spoke setup still in a nice black finish and I think they look absolutely amazing a very subtle tweak that I now heading to the rear of the car this is another appearance change you're going to see is the rear spoiler has been changed up just a little bit and what they did was actually took some of the information that they learned from testing with the 2020 Shelby GT500 and implemented that in to the 2019 GT350. So this was more specifically from some of the wind tunnel testing that they did. And they found that by, I guess, adding those two uh, slits there in the rear for additional airflow through, that it's gonna add more aerodynamic efficiency to the rear of this car. In addition to some gurney flaps that they added as an additional option as well. So we'll have to wait and see on that. There's no pictures of the gurney flap that they've added, but it is going to be an additional option. So that is, for the most part, going to be it appearance-wise, other than the addition of two more colors that Ford decided to add, the first of which is going to be a Ford Performance Blue that is really, really eye-catching, and the second one is going to be another blue, and that is going to be Velocity Blue. So two additional blues. I'm not sure if they're going to be removing some of the previous colors. I really hope they keep Lightning Blue. That's what color my GT350 is. And there's also going to be a factory-painted stripe option so that's going to address some of the people that really didn't like the vinyl stripes because if you own a gt350 and you've had the stripes that are on there they scratched very easily and the quality wasn't the best in the world which is part of the reason why i've considered removing my own now on to the performance of this car which should be really the most important aspect to any gt350 owner out there i think the most noticeable thing to this car is going to be the addition of a new set of tires. They went with the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s, which is what is actually used on the GT350R as well as the new Performance Pack 2 model Mustang. This is supposed to be a tread pattern and compound that is specifically made for the GT350. So that's going to be really interesting to see if this is something they're updating for the GT350R as well, or if this is going to stay just specific to the GT350. Now, with that said, this is going to improve the GT350's acceleration, the lateral grip, as well as their braking on this car, and the tire size is going to remain the same at a 305 in the rear and a tune-out for daily driving. So I'm not sure if that's partially what went into their decision on going with a new compound and a new tread pattern, but that's what I would somewhat expect uh, to find a balance between the two. Now, other than that, they did have to go ahead and recalibrate the suspension on this car with the new tires and that they've added to this car. I'm surprised they actually didn't update the front splitter a little bit more as well to kind of go with these other upgrades, but I'm sure they want to keep some of those differences between the GT350 and the GT350R in place, so I'm really excited to see what they do with the R with what they've done with the GT350 because it has been really exciting and I think they've nailed it. Now heading into the interior of the GT350, there are going to be a few subtle tweaks that we will notice on the interior, the first of which would be a machined aluminum trim on the dash and there will also be a new optional carbon fiber trim as well. The Recaro seats are supposed to be tweaked slightly and the door panels are supposed to have a new suede insert on the sides with a different style stitching. So. That's a welcome adjustment to the interior. Any improvements there are always welcome. But I do have to say that I have been very pleased with the interior on my personal GT350, and I'm not sure why so many people knock on the interior of the newer Mustangs, and I feel like a lot of that is unwarranted. So in conclusion, I have to say thank you, Ford, for focusing on the things that really mattered with the GT350 and not messing up a great-looking car and a great-performing car and simply just improving on what was already working. So 
that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to like and share the video if you did, and be sure to subscribe if you're tuning in for the first time, and I will see you guys next time.